Hey out there YouTube, how we doing? Well, as you can see by that thumbnail you clicked on, today we are going to take a look at a book called Like the Fuse, basically by Rocco. Yeah, his real name is Vincent Vargas, but he's been on Rocco forever and a day. So stay tuned after I roll that intro, I'm going to tell you what I think of his book. Alright guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel and you long time guys who have been watching and have yet to subscribe, I think it's going to be in that corner down there. Going to be a little channel watermark that pops up, hover over that, it's going to pull up subscribe, get that out the way early, you're going to feel better about yourself for the rest of the day. Alright guys, so our Mexican Jay Leno, and yes that's an exact quote from one of his movies, go check out Range 15, you're going to know what I'm saying. He wrote a book. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Rocco, man, you, you really got to check out Article 15 videos, okay? The guy's big, he's greater than life, he's larger than life, he's hilarious, and he just, he kicks a lot of butt. I think he owns like 15 different companies right now. And he has a show on, I believe it's a history channel called Brothers at Arms. He, the only way I can put it, and I know it's going to piss some people off, it's basically like um, Discovery's old Red Jacket Firearms, whatever they called that, where you had the guys who would build something outrageously in a couple days that you'd never think of and, you know, test it out of range and shoot it. It reminds me exactly of that, but I'm watching it to help support Rocco and his endeavors. But that, you know, that being said, he wrote a very heartfelt book that's only about 190 pages, and I believe the MSRP was like 19 or 20 bucks on it on Amazon. You know, I, I, I know it seems a lot for just the amount that you're getting. I mean, small book, right? But I can't tell you the amount of heartfelt love he put into this book. He shares one of his most intimate moments, and we're not talking sexually, but we're talking something so deep-seated and passionate that helped change his life in this book. And it happened when he was a prison guard on a cell extract. Basically, that moment about I'm going to die and how he fought for his life was one of the most intimate moments of his life. He's very brutal in his stuff in here about how we in the veteran community need to take a good hard look inside ourselves and stop going, thank me for my service, thank me for my service, give me this, I'm a vet, give me that, and go, what can I do to continue the mission? What can I do to help? <clears throat> how can I change myself when I'm having a problem? He, he talks about a lot of stuff in here about failures about how he used to be a minor league pitcher and how that didn't work for him. You know, he was part of the border patrol and how it was destroying his life and destroying his marriage because I get it. Being in the service, you're like, my unit's deploying without me, I've failed. If I'd been there with my unit, this wouldn't have happened. So any high profile mission, he wanted to be on. Any training op to do, he wanted to do. <clears throat> because in one way he was looking at it and he's going, hey, I'm providing money for my family, I'm doing what a man should do, but he wasn't seeing what's in front of his face. You know, a lot of people don't. You don't see the forest for the trees. You know, he's very point blank, blunt, simple in here about how veterans need to change the narrative. Because you very rarely hear about a successful veteran. You hear about a vet with PTSD, a vet committed suicide, you know, 22 a day, 22 till none, till Valhalla. Those are three great organizations, by the way. Go look at them. They're helping stop basically the war at home that's going on inside some veterans' minds. Look them up. How many successful vets do you hear about? Yeah, I can tell you right now, Dan Crenshaw, veteran, just got voted to Congress. 
honestly, if it hadn't been for Pete Davidson on Saturday Night Live, I would never have known who Dan Crenshaw was. Now that I looked into him, I'm damn impressed by that man. I'm glad he's, you know, representing the citizens in his district. You normally hear about failures in veterans. Very rarely do you hear about successes. That needs to change. And that's a huge reason in this book, to help hold yourself accountable. Help take a good, deep, long look inside yourself and change what's broke. Step up, get outside that masculinity crap about I'm not allowed to ask for help and seek help if you need it. Be honest with yourself. You're the one that needs to look in the mirror every day and go, I'm a fuck up. I'm a failure. What do I do to change this? You know, I, I just... He's very straightforward in here, and he's very open about his life. And that, I think, is just... It's rare. Because you rarely see, like, a Mark Cuban get on TV and go, yeah, I own Dallas Mavericks now, but hey, guess what? When I was 18, I had a failed paper route. I had a failed this, failed that, failed here, failure, 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 failure. Failure teaches us more than success ever does. Success, you got something right once. Can you replicate it? Failure, that didn't work. This didn't work. What can I do to change it? Okay, sorry, I don't know if you guys heard that outside. Sounds like something weird's going on outside my back, but no big deal. Guys, it's a very easy read. It's a very good read. And it's a very, could possibly change your outlook on life kind of read. So I highly recommend it. All right. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. The link, you know, link in it on Amazon where I found it. Go pick it up. Go buy it. Go check it out. But, you know. Here's the point in the video where I go, if you've read it, I want to know what you think. I want your questions, comments, love, hatred. I want it all down below, guys, because we can only grow if we accept change in ourselves. And no, this is not a self-help video, but there's times where you got to put down your bottle of whiskey. There's times you got to stop going to strip clubs. There's times you got to stop screwing around being an idiot, you know, being a baby daddy, being a baby mama. And man the fuck up and do what's right. Now, that being said, if you're a first-time viewer of my channel, man, you picked a weird one. But thank you for watching. It means a lot, you know, a lot to me. Because, well, there's lots of videos out there on YouTube, and I know that you have a lot of options. And I'm flattered that you chose one of mine. Especially about a book that, to me, is geared more towards veterans than it is, well, normals. You know? Now... For you longtime viewers of the channel who have yet to do it, here's your second chance at redemption. And I wholeheartedly believe in redemption, especially here on the channel. I think it's going to be down there. It's either going to be down there in that corner or down there in that corner. You're going to see a big old channel symbol popping up. Okay? Click on that thing, man. It's going to take you right to subscribe. After you've clicked on subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell icon. Why? Good question. It's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every time that my stupid ass uploads a video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to pop up. That's right. Either over there or over there. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And especially lately, as much as my camera's been screwing up, I can't believe I didn't have to do multiple takes on this video. But there we go, guys. Seriously, Like the Fuse by Vincent Vargas. Go buy it. Go check it out. It is an awesome, awesome book. Thanks for watching.